Hey everyone, welcome to a segment that I'm going to be doing every week uh, on a Sunday night. Unfortunately, I'm a bit late today, so this is coming out Monday. Um, this is going to be a review of the week that I've just completed, as well as a forecast ahead where I'm going to go over my workouts, explain what I'm doing, what went right, what went wrong, and so on. So for the first week that's just finished of my Lake Placid Ironman prep, I'm going to dive right in. So as you can see on Monday, long run followed up by a swim. The forecast for Philadelphia was for heavy rains Monday to Thursday. Uh, and anyone that lives in Philly will know that when they say it's going to rain half the time it doesn't. And when it does, it's like a drizzle that's hardly worth worrying about. So I took the chance uh, because the forecast was um, cloudy but it hadn't been raining yet. I took the chance and left with a jacket and probably 10 minutes into the run it thundered down of rain. Soaked to the bone, but still had a pretty good run. You can see there, two hours and five minutes. Um, total time is a two hour run, uh, covered 19.6 kilometers. I was pretty happy with the run. It's just a long, easy zone two. Basically, I just don't, I monitor my heart rate to make sure it's not going too high, but I don't try and go too fast or anything. I come back, uh, have some lunch. Uh, the weather actually cleared a little bit after that, so I could get down to the pool. Um, I like to walk down there these days. It's a 20 minute walk. Uh, two and a half thousand yard recovery swim. Uh, that was a pretty good one. Um, and then the next day was my, Tuesday, my kind of rest day. I just do an hour spin on the bike. You can see I um, only 13 and a half kilometers. Um, I, I don't overdo it. Um, the idea is that I do a light ride to build the mileage and then I just do some strength work for whatever reason I cannot remember I did not do strength this entire week I think I was just kind of tired I, I, I honestly I have no excuse Wednesday is my long swim day so you can see Tuesday Wednesday are pretty light loads uh, one and a half hours in the pool for 4,000 yards I try and focus on uh, some, lo some longer sets so I'll pick something like a um, 800 for example and I'll, I'll do a, um, sets leading up to that 800. Um, sometimes as you'll see it this week's going to be a bit longer um, but my idea is I'm going to build this to about five and a half six thousand so four thousand just for week one. Getting into Thursday. Thursday uh, was the big ride day. Um, and it also included three 12 minute efforts at threshold. This is a four hour ride, but because Thursday and Friday were both um, half days for my daughters, basically ruined my training for those two days because uh, their damn school shuts every time they have report card conferences so that you can go and meet the teachers. So we had to meet my daughter's teacher. So all my longer rides and, uh, and longer runs uh, basically, my longer sessions on a Thursday and Friday had to be cut short for this week. So this is not normal. So you see, 2 hours and 20 minutes. This is meant to be 4 hours. The reason this is cut even shorter is because I did one and a half sessions uh, and got absolutely gassed. I was shot. I had nothing left. Uh, my thresholds since doing Ultraman have just been really, really poor. Like, I was really disappointed in this ride. Uh, I was basically fainting in the saddle. I was so tired. I, I couldn't spin the legs after the probably halfway through the second threshold effort and so I thought there's no point going on I'm not getting anything out of this so uh, I pulled the plug I don't do that normally for workouts but I was just beaten uh, I'm not demoralized too much because um, people that I've spoken to have said that once you do an event like an Ultraman it takes months for you to regain your fitness fully um, I'm pretty happy with my threshold efforts on the run it's just the bike I'm struggling to get back to power for the bike uh, and the other thing was that my FTP was set to 326 watts, which was probably in September last year I did that test. I'm due for another test, so I turned it back, my FTP back to 300 watts. Um, and I'm going to do an FTP test uh, in about a week, I think. So heading into Friday, uh, it was meant to be a 2 hour 45 ride. Uh, ended up being 2 hours, again, because I had to cut it short to go and pick up my daughters early. This is just a zone 2 spin, so this went pretty much as planned with a, uh, an easy 45 minute run uh, off the bike. Uh, I did all that inside on the treadmill uh, and so that was a pretty good Friday. Saturday woke up early and around 10 minutes of threshold runs. You can see five times four minutes at zone four with two minute recovery. Uh, then there's a three minute gap in between and then I did more speed work after that, another two sets. Uh, I did that outside, that was really, really nice. I was hitting about four minutes 15 per kilometer 
so I was pretty happy with that pace. That really tested me, 104 TSS, but um, you can see 13.4 kilometers in an hour and 10. Um, the recoveries were very easy, like very, very slow jog, but I, I was just really, really happy with that uh, effort. Uh, Sunday, I woke up early, went down the pool to smash out 3,600 yards, 32, almost 3,300 meters. Uh, again, a, a sort of building set, um, and I was happy with that. Came home, had a, probably some breakfast, and waited a couple of hours, and then did my threshold test on the bike, eight times two minutes threshold of two minute recovery. Smashed that set this time, so um, I was happy with that, and that was capped off my week. So the week ahead, as you can see here, you can't see on the screen, but I do have lap swimming, which I did this. I did the today i'm um, recording this on a monday normally i'd record on a sunday as i mentioned uh 3600 yards in the pool these were 400 blocks so i do like say four times 100 two times 200 or 400 set and i build up so i go 50 hundreds 200 400 back down 200s 100s 50s it's kind of a recovery set for my long run which was 21.7 kilometers we took the scenic route this time across ben franklin bridge to new jersey the uss New, uh, New Jersey battleship is not there. It's been moved to the Philadelphia Naval Docks for some repairs. Uh, so I just sort of ran along the waterfront, came back over the bridge. It's really good because it's a long, long stretch to get over the bridge. It's all uphill, then it's all downhill, and coming back is good climb as well. So it's uh, great work. You, what you won't see on this map is swims because I do them all on Garmin. I can't stand training peaks for swimming. So no swims will appear here. Tuesday, what's also not listed here is my uh, ride tomorrow. It's an easy spin. I'm probably looking at one and a half hours, and I'm committed to that strength training. I'm doing that tomorrow. Wednesday is my long swim. I've locked in uh, 5,200 yards of uh, 800 blocks. So I'm going to do two two lots of 800s uh, with some 200s. So it'll be four times 200s in there. Uh, two times 400s, eight times 100s to build 5,200 yards. Thursday, I'm targeting this one here, uh, four hours endurance ride of two times 20 minutes at threshold. I think one of the problems last week was in um, nutrition, so I'm going to be focusing on nutrition for that one. Uh, and the, you can see there's also a strength conditioning there on Thursday as well. So this one's only a, a ride. Um, Friday is the brick session. It's three hours on the bike or 245 followed by the run same as last week i can do all that this week uh one thing wednesday they've got another day off school but i'm going to be going to the pool early so it's not going to be affected by that you can see the thresholds looks like the similar workout again uh on saturday i'll probably head down the pool early sunday morning for my third swim of the week friday i'm possibly doing a swim as well in the afternoon friday would be very easy like two and a half thousand yards uh recovery after that brick session uh Sunday would be, I'm probably looking at three and a half, somewhere but three, two to three, three and a half. Um, but Saturday, I've got the thresholds. So I've also, I'm going for uh, trail running, weather permitting. So with the Penny Pack Trail Runners Club, uh, I do that every Saturday morning now. And one rule I have with training is uh, if there's a social event, like a group ride or a run, within reason, I will always take the social over the over doing the plan at home because I think it's good for your mental health. When I say within reason, I mean if I've got a five-hour bike ride scheduled and someone wants to go for a one-hour run, I'm not going to substitute those two. But this is a one-hour threshold run. My trail runs are usually one and a half hours and they're pretty good threshold efforts, so I'm going to substitute those. If anyone has any questions, please comment below and I'll uh, address them in the videos and get back to you as well. Um, I'm going to be, as I said, twice a week putting this out, so please like and subscribe to my videos, and I look forward to filling you in on how this week goes, hopefully better than last week.